check. So Poland on the board first. That's a bit of a sizzler coming in from Qualic. They really do like to mix up their serves. Bukuzawa tries to be sneaky. The Poles read that. And that's rubbed off the block by Bartosz Kurek, the captain, who also sat out yesterday. So he'll be fresh. Hugely experienced 31 year old, a double Olympian, never won an Olympic medal, of course. Poland will be the and There's trouble again here. This is not a good start at all from Japan. That's going to come over and get pushed back, but they'll scruffily try and get something going here with. Uh, and they'll get the point. And that was driven deep at Huba. And the call goes against Poland. Let's see what that call was, but there's no complaints for the pole, so whatever it was, it's legit. Could have been something at the net, but yeah, there you go, just, just there on that far side. Sends in a sizzler. Bartosz Kwolek losing that one. The power this young man generates is absolutely bright. He's only 19 years old, he's still growing into his body. And he just sends down zingers. Not just on serve, but all his hits are full on. It's a much better take this time. And that's a comfortable put away as well for Wukashik. Well match with the set. Doing the red. Very, very deep talent pool. Vitel Heinen can call on. There are so many outstanding Polish players. Really good players. They just can't get on this roster. Kurek sends a long one now. Tatsuya Fukuzawa back. And I'm looking to pick up this point they need on serve. Kualak handled that one nicely. And driving in is Kurek, rejected by Yamauchi. So they'll send it the other side, and uh, that's not going to be rejected. Yota Wukashi. Picked up off the floor. Driving in there is Bartosz Kurek. Will take Poland to the first technical timeout. Really nice pick up there. Really nice pick up. Well, that's what happens when you get service reception that's as good as that. You've got so long to get yourself set up, work out where the point of attack needs to come from. The setter has so many options available. It's very hard to defend. You can't commit as a defender. Shake the Japanese off here. <laughs> Nishida rising high. He gets absolutely extraordinary elevation. Watch this. And it is full on. He doesn't hold back with his swings. He's one of the most electrifying players to watch anywhere in the world. Not a lot of finesse in his work, but he just doesn't hold back. That was uh, Bartos Kurek will be feeling that one in the morning. Uh, and Bartos Kurek making sure somebody feels it on the other side. Yamamoto got the full force of that one. Oh, there's some big hitting in this first set. Off the reverse set, Kurek sends it down the line. Tom Hero, who was getting everything back yesterday, didn't even blink at that. That's a nice one. Type attack effective. Kuzawa will not necessarily blind you with his power. Power is decent. Sends it down with a decent velocity. A velocity excuse me. And he can mix it up with a lot more variety in his work. Hitters, is she 
missing a lot of long and net serves. The reasons already explained. Nishida getting a piece of that. Well, he had Onadira next to him, but that is all his own work. Big stuff block to take out Wukashik. Nishida. And that got Japan out of a little bit of trouble there because Poland was setting up to pick up a point on serve, which would have given them control of the set as it is. Still up for grabs. Easy take. Easy take. <laughs> oh, lovely pick up again. Oh, there's a pick up from Yamamoto. Nishida gets blocked out of it. He took on Big Bart. Wukashik was there as well. Now, one of them sent this back. It was Wukashik, far side. Took Italy two sets to work out how to block this fella, the Poles. Made their move right there, and Wukash Kashmarek will come in just to freshen things up a little bit as Kurek it is. And it will go back to the bullpen. Well match out as well as they go for height up front. Looking to get the block up with Marcignano back up center in to serve. Now then, Kurek has to have a good second touch here. It is a good second touch, but Japan can take it on again here. Nice pick up there from Janusz. Nishida denied. Well, they'll have another chance. Oh, no! They're tangled up there completely. The setter literally fell over at the feet of Yamauchi there. Oh, that's unlucky. That is just bad luck. There he goes. Still didn't give up on the point, did he? Oh, Sakita. Confounded by his own middle blocker there. Completely accidentally as well. Now that's big because that's a point on serve for the Poles. That's a tough break. So Janusz will stay on. Not great service reception. Yeah. That should have been a lot better. Yeah, it's Ishikawa not exactly handling that. And it's amazing how quickly a close set can just spin away from you. A bad break and a bad service reception. Suddenly, Japan are in all sorts of trouble. The stadium was still rocking like a 70s disco there, wasn't it? You've got to hear each other. Take there again. Oh, Japan are the worst enemies here. Can Nishida get him out of trouble? No. He's sent back. They'll go the other way. Fikizawa's nailed it. Nailed it. They needed that. Rafael Shimura is going to come in, I think. Vidal Hainan will shuffle the deck again. Eater in as well, the captain for Japan. So, this is strap up time because the rest of this one is going to be a white knuckle ride. Poland can expect. Kuba sends that one over. Not great take again, but Nishida manages to rub one off the block from a tricky position there. Well, he can find winners from a long way back. Just had to adjust there, a slight adjustment, went cross-court. Which I think rather fooled the blockers who are used to him going down the line. Beautifully disguised, wonderful, fake one way. 
Oh, Josh Pure lurking with mean intentions in the back doors. There you go. They bit on the fake. And that sealed their doom. Only Ishikawa at home to try and deal with the oncoming Bartosz Kure.